What's up everybody? It's Dr. Sandman. I hope that all of you are doing great. Today I have another tarot first impressions video for you guys. It's one that I got like more than half off. I got it on sale so snagged it. <laughs> it's one that if it wasn't on sale I wouldn't have gotten it because the art style is usually one that I would stray away from. Um, I'm, I'm very particular. Uh, I'm an artist so like the thing that I pull that I get um, drawn to the most in a, in a deck is the art style um, but the theme is one that I really like so even though the art style just doesn't hit for me um, so far uh, I, I really do like the theme of it if you hear my cat he wants fourth servings of breakfast and I am <laughs> unyielding in my resolve to give it to him something right off the bat that I really like about it is that the box is a like a drawer kind of box it's not the one that pops up like this so this is the grunge tarot so that's really cool um and it is um illustrated by andrea moresco i think is how you pronounce their name um and edited by francesca mattiani easy to open love that for me so here's the book it's got the same image on the front and it's pretty lengthy i've been really enjoying these oh it's full color it's i've been really enjoying these lengthier you know um guidebooks is this another is it a box within a box no way <gasps> no i don't know i don't remember what video it was i don't remember where i said it but like recently on one of my tarot videos i said i these boxes these huge boxes are great i just wish that um they had a smaller just cardboard easy easy to open like box within it so that you could just take that places if you don't want to take the whole big box. Now this isn't a giant box. I don't remember what uh, tarot deck it was for um, or, or even if it's tarot. But I know that like I, I said in one of my videos where it, like it had a big box. I wish it had like a smaller just like even like really cheap box. So if you just wanted to take the deck somewhere and you needed a box for it, you could just take it and go. This one does. That is so sick. Oh my god. They're listening. They hear me yes no plastic no plastic environmentally friendly it's it's glossy i fucking hate it here here's the back i think that's so cool it's four amplifiers and um in an eye that's cool have the full and then he's got like a little little dude holding holding his beer <laughs> he's got a he, oh he's chasing a balloon is this kurt cobain this is kurt cobain perfect as it should be if you hear that noise it's my cat getting into stuff he's fine He's not hurt in nothing. Um, so then we have the magician as Kurt Cobain. It's got uh, Nirvana smiley posters in the back. He's got his signature sunglasses, which weren't meant to be signature. Um, and he's got like a little magician wand, sword, the cups look cool. Where's the pentacle? I don't see the pentacle initially. It might be the dice. Maybe the dice are the replacements for pentacle. Then we have the High Priestess. I'm gonna say right now, just because of the the art style alone, I feel like a lot of these are gonna be like real people in the grunge movement um, from grunge bands. I'm just not gonna recognize them just because the art style is so simplified. And we have the Empress. Very nice. Kurt Cobain is hard to like not identify him though. So then we have the Emperor. Perfect. It's got a broken guitar. <laughs> ah, the blimp. So it's the, we have the lovers. They got an RV. They got a burning blimp in the background. The chariot. Nice. This is so cool. I okay. I, okay. I think I like the style a lot more than I initially thought I would. The front picture though i don't know something about the face the way it's illustrated we have strength i think no i'm not gonna i'm not gonna make that judgment i have to read the guidebook it looks like it's inspired by polly the the girl that the song polly uh by nirvana was written after i have to know i have to read the book Okay, I was absolutely right. It is it is inspired by Polly. I should listen to my gut more. And we have the Hermit. And the records say, oh, we face the past. 
the path of time, excuse me, Jeremy, justice, oh, we yeah, had the traditional wing of the, the feather in the heart, interesting, you don't see that as often anymore in tarot, you used to see it a lot, and we have the hanged man, he's, um, he's, uh, on, on a cross upside down and the, uh, the cord is tying up his feet. Death. Yep. Yeah, I like this a lot more than I thought I would. Leonard Cohen. Yeah. Temperance. N nice. Okay, sorry. Uh, they've got some pills. They've got some little teacups that are probably have coffee. Um, <laughs> I really like the vases that they're pouring out of. The devil. Nice. Tire fire. Smashing pumpkins. Yeah, another one that's like really hard to not recognize uh, is the tower. And we have the star. I, if it was, I'm just stupid. I don't know who any of these, I do know a lot of the grunge bands that I used to listen to. Still listen to, what am I talking about? Um, I never actually looked at what they looked like. I just listened to the music. So there's probably most of these, I know what band they are. I just don't know what the people look like. And we have the moon. This is so cool. I like the little animal people. <laughs> the sun. I don't like the way their mouths are drawn. I don't, I don't know how I feel about this one. Like little star plants growing out of their cans. Let's find out. I knew it. I knew that the pose that the infant was in was a reference to Nirvana's um, Nevermind album. I knew it. I gotta trust my gut a little more. So now we're on to the minor arcana. I had to like do double take to see if the lighter was a white lighter. It's not. And then we have two cups. These are coffee cups from the three of cups. I like that one. I like that one. Three of cups is like, I think my favorite minor arcana card. So I really like how it's portrayed. Yeah. That's pretty, um, exemplatory of what that card feels like. <laughs> Ah, uh, lost a game of beer pong. These are fun. These are fun cards. I was quick to judge this deck. We have a seven of cups. So we have those animal faces coming out. Another guitar neck. Um, snake. A heart. Gems. He's got all his... Music awards. Oh, this one's fun. Oh, they're having ice cream. That's fun. It's a little family. Yeah, some of the... That's that's why I didn't think I was going to like this deck. Oh, this one's really cool. This is the Page of Cups. Um, this one's really cool. Um, but I... I don't, I don't know. Like, some of the faces... Not all of them. I wouldn't even say the majority of them. But, like, some of the faces... I just don't like how they're illustrated. We have the Knight of Cups. Really cool. There's flying everywhere. Queen of Cups. Yep, that adds up. I hope to God this isn't who I think it is. I, I think it is. If this is Courtney Love, I'm throwing out this deck. <laughs> um, so I am throwing out this deck that was in fact Courtney Love. Um, I hate her <laughs> for obvious reasons. And we have the King of Cups. This one's really cool. I don't think I can read with this deck if Courtney Love's gonna show up fuck this deck and the wands are guitars oh I guess they're not I guess they're different for each card but the ace of wands is a guitar I don't know I don't know if that's how I well maybe if that's how I'd interpret that three of wands Four. Oh, this is fun. Those are dead ass the the biting f plants from Mario. Oh, 
Am I? Nope, that's what that is. Okay. Nice. I think these are really good representations for what the card means. Seven. Eight of Wands. Yeah, so these are all different depending on the card. Ten. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's really good because that one, it's not, it's not, no, not only carrying, oh, there's gunk on it. Why is there gunk on it? But it's not only, like, carrying the burden, so he's, like, literally carrying a heavy load of, like, these um, pipes and stuff for the concert, but, like, going to do it again when you're on tour because that symbolizes um, a restart. So learn. So starting, not starting over, but starting from experience, just like you. Um, page of Wands, Knight of Wands, pretty sick. Nearly lost you, Queen of Wands. Mm. I like the meaning in that one. King of Wands. <laughs> Ace of Swords. Got a little tattoo. Oh, they got a scalpel. Interesting. For the Two of Swords. That's a scalpel, right? Yeah, it's a medical scalpel. Oh my gosh. He's got a projector. And it's hitting him a little bit. That's really interesting. I'd like to read into that one more. I'm definitely going to read the guidebook very thoroughly for this. Ah, uh, yeah. Five of Swords. Six. Seven. Hmm. That one's really meaningful. Oh, you put that upside down. Uh, nine of swords and the oh yeah ten of swords the swords Lo does their shirt say loser I can't tell what their shirt says their hands are covering it but maybe that's intentional shirts oh she's crying up blood oh oof I don't know if I could show this. Okay, so I'm gonna put it on the screen and also like a audio one, um, a little trigger warning for this because there is um, fresh scars. I know it's illustrated, but that still might be triggering for somebody. I'm also gonna put the time on the screen uh, that you can skip to so you don't have to look at it if you wanna see the rest of the deck. Okay, so trigger warning and you're gonna see the card in three, two, one. I would not have put that in a tarot deck, personally, especially a mass market one with no warning. King of Swords. Oh, that's really cool. That's really cool. Runge Tarot, Volume 1. Please don't make a Volume 2. No, I'm kidding. That's really cool. This is for Pentacles. It's just a record. That's interesting. I want, I used to have a pair of jeans like this where like one pant leg was cut off. That's cool. Three of Pentacles. Four. Yeah, because of that one card, the, what was it, Queen of Swords? Yeah, I, I think I'm not going to use this deck to, to read for other people because I can't make assumptions. And I can't like risk pulling that and potentially hurting someone like like mentally like that so I think this is just gonna be a for me deck nine hard at work ten oh, I has got the Nirvana smiley this I like this one age of Pentacles <laughs> Yeah, again, the way just this, the face is drawn, I don't like it. Like, respect to all the artists out there. Not every um, 
I don't have to like every artist and not every artist has to have everyone like their work. So I do not like a, a lot of their faces that they draw. Interesting. She's got a little puppet. Or a marionette. Oh, and then two crows. King of uh, Pentacles. Oh, yep, that's a heart-shaped box. That is a heart-shaped box. From the song and the legend. Okay, so let's uh, do the shuffle test. Let's see how it goes. Nope. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, they're jumping out left and right. Yeah, the, yeah. That happens with glossy decks. That's why I don't like glossy decks. What would I rate this out of ten? I'm gonna say a five. Um, that's the lowest one that I've done in a while. I I do actually really like the artwork, but some of the um, illustrations that they just make me really uncomfortable. I don't like. Um, I am also taking points away for it being glossy, of course, and I'm also taking points away for the Queen of Swords cards and it being a mass market deck. I think it's a little irresponsible for them to do that. If they were healed, I think it would be different. Um, but the fact that they refresh, and I know it's an illustration, so it doesn't look real, but you, you know, you gotta keep that stuff in mind. Um, I think there's another way that they could have done that. Also, Queen of Cups, don't like that that bitch is in there. All right, so, um, yeah, I might even give it a four. <laughs> no, I'm gonna give it a five, um, because overall, I do like a lot of the images that they picked. I thought that they represented the meanings of the cards very well, um, and I, I really like the color palette too. It does feel very nostalgic. Um, so yeah, we're giving it a 5 out of 10, which isn't terrible, but it's not great. Um, but I but don't get it twisted. I don't hate this deck. I just don't... I, I might even pick out those two cards. I might take out two of the queen cards because I don't like that they're in there. Well, one of them I, I'm fine with, but like other people might might not be if I were to give a reading for somebody else. So that's my consensus on this deck, the Grunge Tarot. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and a comment. Sus subscribe for more videos. I have tons of Tarot, Oracle, and Lyremond videos on my channel. I have a whole playlist on my channel in case you want to check more of those videos out. Um, and I will have all my social media and links in the description below. Bye.